Hey guys, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I hope you're well, uh, safe and healthy. Hope you're wearing a mask. Um, it has been one hell of a year and it isn't over yet. It is far from over, but uh, yeah, it's uh, things suck. But on the bright side, uh, Akai released their free uh, software called MPC Beats. Now, uh, I'm usually not an Akai fan, like really at all. Uh, Diehard Novation, uh, Native Instruments guy, but um, I really like MPC Beats. Uh, the track limitation is not bad at all. Uh, eight tracks, you know, eight MIDI tracks, and then two audio tracks. It's great. Uh, you know, without going into all the stuff about it, there's plenty of videos, uh, beginner walkthroughs, and everything. There is a major bug that I found uh, in the plugin version of MPC Beats, which I'd love to make Akai very aware of. Uh, it's very annoying. Um, it's not present in standalone, but uh, it is in the plugin. So I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to load uh, MPC Beats standalone first. And let's see. It is not showing up, and I don't know why. Hold on a second. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm still getting used to this OBS broadcasting software, which is pretty cool uh, for tutorials. Um, I'm kind of new to it, but uh, yeah, so I wanted to demonstrate this. So this is the project that I saved. Uh, it is right here, just called Untitled. It's basically all I loaded was uh, one kit from the factory, you know, the free factory content. I think it was called Premiere Kit or whatever. Pretty, pretty great uh, kit. Now the, yeah, the problem bas basically lies with key groups. So, and that, and that's basically pianos, anything you can play across, you know, a piano keyboard. So if I go to my next track, this is part of the free, you know, free download, uh, the F9 instrument pack, you know, again, it's all part of the free content that Akai gave away. So this is a uh, club piano X. Okay. Um, which you can see and you know basically here's the problem so you know I got my Novation SL Mark III plugged in now watch as I go down pay close attention to the keyboard right here okay that's fine so it gives you the everything sounds good all the keys are matching everything in order and that's great again this is standalone so here's where the bug happens um so i got i i tried this in in a uh, reaper as a plugin and i also tried it in ableton live light and ran into the same exact issue so uh this is the exact same project um it's all just you know totally saved in the same state so same kit now if I go to, you know, the second track, which again is the free instrument. Um, and I tried all key group instruments too, uh, like everything, you know, that, that could be played as a key group. Um, same problem. So again, same thing, instrument piano, uh, F9 club piano X. Now watch again, same exact thing. I didn't change anything on the keyboard. Just walking down the keyboard doing triads. Now pay close attention to this keyboard right here. Okay, what the hell is that about? All right, that obviously is completely insane and a very, very bad bug. Um, again, this is completely present in all of the, uh, all the key groups. So basically, as soon as you pass E2, middle C being C3, as soon as you pass E2, or, you know, E flat 2, it's insane. Now, what gets worse is if you change your pad bank. So, if I go to pad bank B, right, it's still the wrong note and it still jumps, but now it's a little higher. If I go to bank, pad bank C, Okay, it's getting closer to the range. If I go to pad bank D. Okay, now I'm higher. 
What? Okay. Pad bank E. Okay, right. Uh, yeah. So you see where this is going. I, th I think this is a massive bug and it's present with all key group instruments, um, which is insane. Uh, I love using uh, stuff like this as a plugin inside Reaper because it's just uh, it's just better, you know. It, like for my workflow, I don't like standalone anything unless I'm like in a DAW where I could just arrange everything as I need to. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that uh, Akai, you guys are made aware of this. This is kind of a major bug. It's great that you guys offered the software. We, uh, I totally appreciate this, and millions of other people, especially students, I told about the software. They totally appreciate it as well, but th th you're going to run into a massive, uh, you know, roadblock with uh, not being able to play. It's like, really? How is that possible? How does this E2 jump down to, or that, <laughs> this E flat 2 go down that far? And then it becomes G on, uh, you know, bank B, and then B on bank C and then E flat three on bank D. So I don't know, there's definitely a mapping issue here. So E flat, uh, you know, uh, negative one, jumping up to G. So let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, it's like, it's basically like the amount of pads away, uh, you know, so there's definitely some type of mapping issue. Um, yeah, so something to be aware of, uh, anyone who might run into this bug, but again, I really hope that Akai addresses this and fixes it, because it's important, um, and I really do like the software, I think it's uh, really cool, and the factory content that they give away free is pretty damn good, um, so uh, yeah, um, I hope this video finds you well, and again, stay safe, and be aware of this bug, and yeah, so I will see you soon.